Good evening. My name is Arjun Singh. I served as the S3 Sergeant Major, supervising the Rehabilitative Attentiveness Training Program, also known as RAT. I spent the past three years at SJMS, and throughout my time, I've worn 17 different ranks, working as a squad leader, Alpha Company Platoon Sergeant, RAT Drill Instructor, and RAT SDI. Before I came to St. John's, I was a boy who ignored any sign of hope. I went to a public school, private school, and homeschool. Throughout that time, only one thing was on my mind, independence. I wanted to grow up. I wanted to face the repercussions of my actions, negative or positive. I wanted my parents to leave me alone. I felt I could handle the responsibilities of my own life. When I came to St. John's on August 16, 2009, I didn't know what I was in for. My first few steps were quiet, probably because my dad was by my side. Once we said our goodbyes, my life changed. It quickly went very loud. Noises I never thought other teenagers could make. Uh, I was very surprised. And, and then once I, they realized my expression, they quickly, ran, they quickly made me do PT. For the next six weeks, I was frightened. But soon I realized I was not the only guy going through the pain. We, quick, we quickly connected, doing things we never imagined doing, including cleaning the latrines daily, making our beds, folding laundry, and doing PT for every mistake we made in between. <coughs> in return, I slowly matured. I understood my problems were not new, and I realized the world didn't revolve around Arjun Singh. During those six weeks, my life was in the new boy hallway in every room and every bunk. The gentlemen I met at this school quickly went from fellow new boys to brothers. We took care of each other and every problem each possessed. I am very grateful to have gone through the pain. Through every dark night, there's a brighter day to follow. Throughout my first two years, I made mistakes frequently. I got kicked out of class daily. I failed the UAs. I disrespected the staff. I rebelled against the rules of St. John's and so on. But then it hit me. At the time, I was having a conversation with my dad. I asked him, why am I here? In return, he said, son, don't worry. You'll do fine. Since that moment, I tried. I used the words of Ian Brands. Would you rather be in a formation or march it? That's when everything and everyone came together. They helped me reach my highest rank at the time, which was Staff Sergeant. <coughs> I was so proud of what I represented. I was proud of the people I worked with, and I was proud of the people under me. Even though I made major mistakes causing demotions and rat, my brothers never lost faith in me. That's why I'm on the stage today. After my demotion, I worked within the rat program, and soon, and soon after came the battalion staff interview. I was probably the biggest troublemaker they accepted to see. Still to this day, I remember the meeting. My hands were sweaty and my main goal was to smart, sound as smart as possible. In the end, everything worked out, and they gave me the position. As the S3 Sergeant Major of the 124th Corps, I made many changes. I rewrote the whole RAP program and added more responsibilities to my, my position. None of that mattered, though. My main objective was to turn the mistakes cadets make into learning experiences. Through rigorous physical training and strict discipline, they slowly understood the, the mistakes they made. I always told my rats, even though they say we wear fake ranks, we make real changes. For all those who have, for all those who have made, made through rat this year, I'm very proud of you. Our goal is to put you through the impossible to prove to yourself you can do anything. Anything is possible if you put the effort to do it right. And the time you, and the time you gentlemen spent under my command is an example of that. During all my hardships I put myself through, I always had someone by my side. If it were a teacher to put me into opportunity study hall, if it were my platoon sergeant helping me shine my boots properly, or if, even if it was Mr. Browning asking me how my day went. From the, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. The little things this school did when I was down determined how I got back up. My brothers. Thank you for making me the man I am today. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have had the inspiration to do any of the things I've done. My rat staff, Molina Sapp, Donafeld, Palma, thank you for the sacrifice of 
selfless service. The hours you gentlemen gave up to do your jobs the right way is an example left for future staffs to learn from. We riddled together one of the best training programs the school has ever seen. To my fellow battalion staff members, thank you for your commitment. What you gentlemen did this year was amazing. The amount of care you portrayed for, this, for the cadets within the Corps made our jobs more satisfying as we saw the growth of the cadets. To the first sergeant and the command sergeant major, the time we spent together will forever be cherished. The amount of pride you guys had in your, in your people shows everyone you represented loyalty. You guys stuck together when the chips were down and you praised each other when one achieved. You gentlemen are the greatest example of brotherhood and I'm gonna miss each and every one of you. To the Corps of Cadets, from the tiny middle schoolers to the RIP seniors, thank you for your work. This school isn't fun, but it teaches you a work ethic that surpasses our friends at home. We have to take the pain now. In the end, we will achieve happiness. You have to hate to understand a love. Be strong and don't lose motivation. To my family, thanks for believing in me. <laughs> I went from a kid who had terrible habits to a man who believes he could do anything. Ma, you're like the most amazing mom, and thank you for always supporting me. You always have my back when I should have yours. Dad, you were like the immovable rock. You wouldn't believe anything I said. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I, lo I like your work ethic, though. I learned a lot off of it, and that's another reason why I'm here today. To my sisters, thanks for the love. Yeah. <laughs> to my SJMS family, thank you for picking me back up. Miss Wooten, thank you for helping me graduate high school. It took five years, man, but I finally did it. I never expected to graduate high school, and now I'm going to college. <coughs> Major Stelges, Mrs. Stelges, thank you for everything you've done in the past few years. Major. You taught me the proper way to mature and showed me how to take accountability for my actions. Ma'am, thank you for staying close with me. I always knew I could talk to you about anything, and I really appreciate it. Mr. England, thank you for trusting me to do the right thing. Your style of leadership taught me you don't have to get angry to get your point across. Mr. Browning, thank you for everything, sir. I don't know where I'd be, uh, I don't know where to start. But as a cadet and a young man, I'm so proud to know you. Uh, I have never seen a person care about a community as much as you do, and it has made all the difference. You give us inspiration to do the right thing here and at home. Thank you for your presence at St. John's. You have made me a better person, and I will forever be thankful for you believing in me. Thank you, sir. Peace and love to all.